Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island. It's one of my favorite shows of all time and my absolute favorite show from the 1960s. If you're a fan of classic TV shows and movies, liking, commenting, and subscribing is free and it's the best way to support my channel. So I thank you ahead of time for doing so. Now the episode that I'll be talking about is called Goodbye Island. Of course, that's an ironic title because they never really get off the island. It's from season one, it's the eighth episode, and it is also one of my absolute favorite episodes. It's so funny, it's so hilarious. It takes place mostly outside on a real beach, and um, it is a great environment for this episode. The premise is they're gonna get off the island. The professor's coming up with a way to patch up the boat, with nails and boards. However, he's having trouble with the nail formula. The nails are either breaking, exploding, they're not really working as they should. So Gilligan accidentally finds this tree sap that becomes a glue. And surprisingly, they decide to use it for the boat to hold all the boards together and it becomes like concrete. So they're able to get off the island. Everyone is excited, but they unfortunately realize that that permanent concrete glue is temporary and it begins pulling apart the entire boat board by board it is a pretty funny scene pretty hilarious and this answers the age-old question which i've answered before of why can't they patch up the boat people say oh the professor is so dumb he can't patch up the boat of course he can't the boat literally disintegrated board by board it came apart the problem is we're all busy looking at the boards coming apart, but what you missed was looking at the ship's hull in more detail. Now it does only come out for a brief second, but when I show this to you, it's gonna absolutely blow your mind. I love it, it's a great moment. And if you look closely, I'll point it out, I'll circle it for you. You can actually see something inside the ship's hull as it is coming apart. What does it look like? Well, I was wondering and thinking about it for a little bit. It's obviously something that doesn't naturally supposed to, that's not supposed to be inside of a boat's hull. When I look closer and I really thought about it, I'm like, this looks like a styrofoam or a paper cup. I'm gonna go, gonna go with styrofoam. I want you to let me know in the comments down below what you think it is, but you can even look at the design. So to me, it is definitely a cup. Looks like paper, styrofoam, one of the two, but there's a design on it, as you can see. And in my opinion, someone from the cast or the crew was just in between shoots, just left it in there as they were rigging up the boats and the boards with the wires, pulling everything apart. And they accidentally left it inside the boat. They probably left it there for a little bit and they forgot. And during filming, they didn't realize that the cup was in there. Then finally, when they did the editing, they didn't notice it because it was such a brief moment. Um, it's only on screen for about a second and a half, two seconds max, and then it goes off and then you don't see it anymore because the boat keeps coming apart board by board. But my question is, have you seen this episode? Did you ever notice this styrofoam cup that's inside the hull of the SS Minnow, of the ship I was gonna say, but the SS Minnow, I think it's absolutely hilarious and amazing. These are the things that I do on this channel. I find really, interesting things, really small little Easter eggs, things that really add to the nostalgia of these shows, little tidbits behind the scenes information, little errors, bloopers, whatever it might be, just fun stuff where we could talk about these shows. Sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's less interesting, sometimes we can even just talk about the shows, which I get excited doing just all in all, if I just tell you about a TV show or movie, I just get excited because it's one of my absolute favorite things to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed as well. Thanks so much for the support and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We'll see you all next time. And don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my diamond tier patrons, Christopher K, John O, David D, Sally N, Jerry D, Vito L, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you wanna be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks.